Come in. Hello, Miss Conway. Oh, well, good morning, Mr. McFarlane. Thank you so much for inviting me. Please, take a seat. So, what kind of work placements can you offer me? <laughs> I appreciate your self-confidence, Miss Conway, but uh, this is not about uh, what we can offer you. Oh, no. No, I meant You are that here to show me what you can offer our company. Sure, Mr. McFarlane. I meant that I would really like to know more about the vacancies in your company. It says here in your application you'd like to do a work placement in Germany. Why do you want to work in a hotel? Well, before I decide on one career, I would like to try out different jobs so I can find out what suits my interests and abilities. Fine. Go on. Oh, um, well, I love working in a team and meeting different people. I'm really good at organising things too, so I thought hotel work would be really interesting for me. Why Germany? Well, it's always interesting to work abroad. I would like to learn more about foreign customs. I want to meet new people and improve my German. I learned a little bit at school, you see, and I don't want to forget it. Sounds good to me, Miss Conway. You seem to have the right attitude. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, Miss Conway. You know, working in a hotel can be pretty exhausting. What do you think the working conditions will be like? Well, first of all, the teamwork has to be good. Like, precise coordination of all the different departments is needed. Because, um, well, a large hotel is usually open around the clock. Secondly, um, you have to be open-minded and flexible. Uh, open to foreign customs and cultures, I mean. Since you are likely to meet people from all over the world, otherwise you could make a faux pas, embarrass your guests, and make them feel uncomfortable. Could you give me an example? Oh, sure. Um, Japanese people. They don't shake hands when they greet each other. They bow instead. Is there anything else that you can think of that's very important to remember when you work in a hotel? No matter what happens, you always have to remain friendly and calm. Very good, Miss Conway. You really seem to have the skills required to work in a hotel. So, where do you see yourself in, oh, let's say, five years? Well, there are several options open to me, but one possibility would be to do a course in hotel management. After three years, providing I pass my exams, of course, I could apply for a job as an assistant manager. Sounds good to me, Miss Conway. Is there anything you want to ask about our work placement? Um, would I get the chance to work on reception? Well, usually you'd start with the basics. Room service, um, hotel canteen, rooms, but reception should be part of your program. And our work placements normally last for four months. Oh, I see. Guten Tag. Ich bin Mike Conway. Ich. Um. Do you speak English? Yes. <laughs> I'm here to see Miss Schmidt, the head of reception. That's me. Oh. Hi, Maya. Um, welcome to Rhyme Hotel. Please, call me Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, I'll take you to your room first, and then we'll take a look around the hotel. 
Um, you'll be at reception, room service and catering. Okay. Well, I'm glad you speak English so well. My German isn't very good. <laughs> yet. Well, you'll be fine with our English-speaking guests, but you really should work on your German while you're oh, here. Of course. Yeah. I'll do my best. Okay. Great. Oh, Nicole, your phone's ringing. Thank you. Bei Motel, Sie sprechen mit Nicole Schmidt. Was kann ich für Sie tun? Mhm. Bei einem Hotel, Sie sprechen mit Mike Conway. Was kann ich für Sie tun? My name is Xiao Cheng. I would like to make a reservation. Certainly, sir. Just one moment, please. Someone wants to make a reservation. When? When would you like to stay with us, please? I'd like to stay for five nights from the 24th. Five nights from the 21st? No, from the 24th. Oh, sorry, from the 24th. <laughs> okay, yeah. Five nights. Yes, we do have a room free then, sir. Could you spell your name for me, please? Certainly. It's X-I-A-O and C-H-E-N-G. Thank you, Mr. Cheng. No, it's Mr. Xiao. In Chinese, the family name is placed before the given name. Oh, oh I didn't know that, Mr. Chow. Very interesting, though. Thank you. Um, would you like a single, a twin, or a double room? A single, please. A non-smoker. That's absolutely fine, Mr. Chow. Thank you. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, you're fine on that. Cheers. Well done, Maya. You just made your first booking. <laughs> Let me see here. Hmm? I see you didn't ask the caller for his credit card details, did you? No. Oh. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to call him back. How could I forget something important like that? <laughs> oh. It's okay, don't worry about it. I don't want my bitter. Hello. Oh, Mr. Chow? It's Maya Conway calling from the Rhyme Hotel. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry, sir, but I forgot to ask for your credit card details. Could you please give me the number and tell me when it's valid to? Certainly. Thank you. It's a MasterCard. The number is... Yep. 10102237-6849-6464. Yep. Yep. And it's valid until 0414. Thank you so much, Mr. Chow. We look forward to welcoming you here on the 24th. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.